Question 151. The loan estimate must be retained for how long? Three years. Question 152. What does Honda stand for? Honda stands for the Home Mortgage Disclosure Act. Question 153. What does NOV stand for? That would be Notice of Value. Question 154. What does CRV stand for? The answer is Certificate of Reasonable Value. Question 155. What does the R stand for in the acronym NMLSR? That answer would be Registry. Question 156. What is a mortgage call report? MCR. That is a quarterly report required by MLO companies and mortgage brokers. Question 157. Loan originator organizations must keep compensation records for how many years? That would be three years. Question 158. Mortgage companies must submit a residential loan origination activity report to the NMLSR every They must submit them every three months. Question 159. Which act specifically prohibits block busting? That would be the Fair Housing Act. Question 160. What law protects homeowners from foreclosure prevention scams? That would be the Mortgage Assistance Relief Service Rules, MARS. Question 161. Which law requires financial institutions to keep detailed records of cash transactions exceeding $10,000, withdrawing, depositing, or transporting? That would be the Bank Secrecy Act also known as the Anti-Money Laundering Act, BSA slash AML. Question 162. What type of federal report is filed when financial institutions detect suspicious activity? That will be called a Suspicious Activity Report, SAR. Question 163. Which law requires businesses to print only the last five card numbers on a credit card receipt? That will be the FACT Act, sometimes known as FACTA. Question 164. What happens if the acceptable variance between the loan estimate and the closing disclosure is exceeded? That means that the excess amount is refunded to the borrower within 60 days. Question 165. A higher priced home loan is one that has... It has an APR that exceeds the average prime rate by at least 1.5% for the first lien mortgage. 2.5% for a first lien jumbo loan or 3.5% for a subordinate mortgage lien. Question 166. What is the shortest time in which a mortgage purchase loan can close? That will be seven business days. 
Question 167. Which law states that MLOs are required to report any suspicious activity exceeding $5,000 that may be a sign of tax evasion, money laundering, or other possible criminal activity? That will be the Bank Secrecy Act slash Anti-Money Laundering Act, BSA slash AML. Question 168. Denise reviewed her credit report and discovered a few discrepancies and would like to dispute them. Once disputed, how long does a credit reporting agency have to respond to this dispute? That will be 30 days. Question 169. The red flag rules are also known as The red flag rules are also known as Section 114 rules under the FACT Act. Question 170. What law requires arm borrowers to receive the Consumer Handbook on Adjustable Rate Mortgages? That would be TILA, Truth in Lending Act. Question 171, which law requires that the Know Before You Owe booklet be given to the borrower? That would be RESPA, Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act. Reg X. Question 172, lenders must maintain an escrow account for higher priced Section 35, mortgages for a minimum of? They must keep them for five years. Section 173, what is a Fannie Mae appraisal report form? That form is called a URAR, also known as a 1004 form. Question 174, what lien has the highest priority and is paid off first when a property is sold? That would be your property tax liens. Question 175, what document is assigned along with the mortgage? That would be the promissory note. Question 176, what term describes the process of a senior mortgage lien holder voluntarily changing into a junior mortgage lien holder? That process is called subordination. Question 177, what does Ginny May do? Jenny May guarantees Jenny May Mortgage Backed Securities. Question 178. Which law requires lenders to train employees to recognize the red flags of identity theft? That will be the FACT Act or FACTA. Question 179, which law entitles a borrower to a copy of his appraisal report? That will be ECOA, Equal Credit Opportunity Act. Question 180, according to the GLB Act, a person who completes a single transaction with a creditor is known as customer or a consumer. Senior transaction, that would be a consumer. Question 181, the lowest possible interest rate for an arm loan is known as the 
That will be known as the floor. Question 182. If an applicant works 30 hours every week and is paid $25 per hour, what is the applicant's monthly income? You have to do it the long way, guys. That will be $3,250. $25 an hour times 30 hours a week times 52 weeks in a year divided by 12. Question 183. What law prohibits discrimination in the sale and lease of property? That law? The Fair Housing Act. Question 184. The term 20 basis points expressed as a percentage is? That would look like 0 0.20 percent. Question 185. The late fee for a conventional loan is? 5 percent of the principal and interest. Remember, not on the tax at the insurance, the principal and interest. Question 186. A funding fee is required for a... For a VA loan. Question 187. The mortgage E is the... Lender. The mortgage E is the lender. Question 188. Who does Fannie Mae hold responsible for the quality of an appraisal? The lender. The lender is responsible for the quality of the appraisal. Question 189. Which law prohibits discrimination by lenders when extending credit? That will be ECOA, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. Regulation B, the lenders must be equal. Question 190, a property sold for $200,000 and was appraised at $180,000. The borrower received a loan for $150,000. What is a loan to value? The loan to value is 83.3%. $150,000 divided by $180,000. Question 191. How many days does a lender have to send an adverse action notice? The lender has 30 days. Question 192. The enforcement of a lien is known as a... That's known as a foreclosure. Question 193. What minimum percentage of ownership qualifies an individual as self-employed? That will be 25%. Question 194. Which law defines the right of rescission? That will be TILA, Truth in Lending. Question 195. How long after the application date must Social Security payments continue to be received in order to count as income? That will be three years. Question 196. Which clause in a mortgage allows a lender to increase the interest rate? That will be the escalation clause. Question 197. A VA appraisal is known as a It is known as a CRV 
or NOV, Certificate of Reasonable Value, or Notice of Value. Question 198, which types of loans are meant for rural areas? That would be your USDA loans, sometimes called Section 502 loans. Question 199. The purchase price of a home is $200,000 and the loan amount is $180,000. The borrower pays 6% interest with one discount point and one origination point. What is the cost of the point? The answer, $3,600. It's the $180,000 times 2%. Question 200, what is the maximum allowable amount of VA seller concessions? That answer would be 